What's up, dog? Hello. Friendly? Friendly, friendly. Yep, we're friendly, we're cool. Hey guys, how's it going? Good morning, welcome to the vlog. So, I'm gonna wait for these two dogs to stop following me, and then we will get into the video. Today, we are going on an adventure. So real quick, I wanna answer one teeny question, which a few people have asked me in the past, and also um, on my last video where I showed kinda of how I packed my bag. By the way, I'm not carrying my drone, because um, sometimes when I'm out like adventuring, maybe on back roads and maybe a little bit sketchier places, I don't really want to have like a drone on my bag because then everyone like looks at me like, like, I don't really want that kind of attention if I'm just out like filming a vlog. And the question that I was going to ask, answer about, someone asked why, a few people asked, why didn't I carry a DSLR in my bag, like on my adventures and stuff. A few reasons. One reason is, um, I mean, it takes up so much space to carry around a DSLR with lenses and that stuff, which it adds a lot of weight compared to a little point and shooter. And like the quality is like, it's a very little bit better quality. So to me, sometimes it's not worth it to carry it because I feel like I can get better shots with a smaller camera where I can like climb around and get a cooler angle. Also, if I'm out holding like a big DSLR, I don't really like when I'm out like with a big camera and then like maybe I'm on like a back road or somewhere and then like someone like sees me with the big camera and like, I don't know, it's just kind of nicer to have a smaller camera. And as you may notice, I don't have my bike today because today I'm going to just walk and run and jog and do whatever. I think it is very fun biking on adventures as well as just running and using just your feet. On a bike, you can cover much more distance and I feel like get go to places much quicker. But if you're like, just running if you don't have a bike and stuff you'll go on these side passageways or like climb over these trees and stuff whereas bikes can go a lot of places but you sometimes can't carry them over this tree and stuff as easily and I seem to have found myself on a back road When I am carrying around a big DSLR, it's not as convenient. Like, if I wanna go climb up that tree, you know, we might climb up that. If I have a big DSLR, big DSLR, it's much more difficult to climb up. Whereas this, I can literally like, just hang from my mouth with a strap and climb up there where I may have not with a DSLR. Okay, so I just climbed up that tree that I just said I might climb up. And if I was on a bike, I could have very easily just flew right past this tree and I wouldn't have never known about it. Never would have known that I could have climbed up, climbed into this super epic spot up in the tree, like pretty high up. And people, are, a surfer just walked by. He just came from the beach, he probably was surfing, definitely. And he didn't notice I was up here. I'm just completely up here, stealthily hidden nearly invisible up in the trees. It's really cool up here because you get a whole like view of like the little area. It's like a little pathway there. And I'm almost to the tippy top of this mango tree. I'm not sure how to show you guys how tall this is. So this is my view and that is the pathway. It's much further down than I feel like it looks. It's quite funny because in the past I've seen monkeys up like in the same exact spot just like up here climbing around. This is actually a mango tree. So when it's the mango season, this tree is just completely 
stacked with mangoes. Ah, mosquito. Go away, mosquito. So I actually put my rain jacket on. It looks like it could, it might rain, but the main reason, the bugs and mosquitoes kept landing on my arms and my neck, so I put this on and now they cannot get me, except for on my legs. But those are easy to get off. Somewhere up there. Somewhere. Let's keep going. Down to the beach. All right, I've made it to the beach, and it is crazily windy so I don't think I'm gonna do too much talking at the beach probably just music maybe a teeny bit of sound eat some snacks I just decided I think I'm gonna go for a swim right in those right next to those rocks right here maybe for like uh, just a couple of minutes Last minute swim. Had no idea I was gonna go for a swim. I was just going to the beach to kind of make an adventure. And then I mean I just saw like the water there and the water was just so inviting. I just had to go for a swim. Just had to. So what have we learned today? Um you do not need a vehicle to make an adventure. Definitely don't think that if you, you need a vehicle and then once you have the vehicle, then you'll be able to have fun adventures. An adventure is really how you how you look at something like I may I may look at someone, let's say I was someone else and I look at the tree, I'm like, how oh, cool, it's a tree, whatever, keep going. And then maybe the other two, I was like, whoa, cool, a tree, let's climb it. And then like, it just makes it, that tree, it takes the tree from being just a tree that you saw into like a really awesome part of your adventure. What is the definition of an adventure or an adventurer? What makes you an adventurer? I don't think there is a real definition like this. This is the definition to it, the word adventure. No, I don't think it's like that. I think that an adventure is really can be different for everyone. Well, that is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the adventure vlog. And I don't have a positive quote. I kind of just like came up with this today while I was filming and going around adventuring. So this is, um, how did it go? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Use what is best for the situation. So what this means to me is like maybe if you're going on an adventure and you have a bike and you, you're either going to maybe go mountain biking through the adventure or you're going to go walking. Try to think of which one using which... With, try to think of whether going with your mountain bike or going walking. 
which one will make the adventure most fun, most awesome. This also goes for maybe you're going out to make a little vlog, a video, and you have a DSLR, and you also have a little point and shoot. Which camera do you think will make the adventure most fun for you and also make it so you can show the adventure the best? So of course, with a DSLR, you may get a little better footage, but with a little point and shoot, you may go in little spots or climb over things that you wouldn't have with your DSLR. So you gotta think about that. Just because the camera is just because the camera's actual quality is better doesn't mean it'll make the video or the film actually better. Keep that in mind. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to do more awesome stuff and I will see you guys tomorrow early in the morning. Bang.